Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to dilate a figure so I could be larger than its original size. So, a figure dilated would look like this. Since this one is smaller and this one is bigger, it would be dilated. Or, it could be from, smaller, from bigger to smaller. So, as you can see, out here on the outside edge, it's bigger. And then it gets smaller on the inside because it has been dilated smaller. But today we're going to learn how to make it larger only. The way you would dilate a figure so it would be larger is you want to get all the coordinates like this. So A would be two, negative 2, 2, which is right here. Right there. B is 2, 2, which is right there. C is 2, negative 2. Is right there, and D is negative 2, negative 2, so it's right there. So you would get the scale factor, which is, right, which is that one, and multiply by all of these. So A would be equal negative 4, 4, D would equal 4, 4, C would equal 4, negative 4. D would equal negative 4, negative 4. And then you want to you want to place all the coordinates on the vertices that you just made. And then A would be right there. A prime. And then B prime would be right here. C prime right here. And D prime right here. And then you would connect all of them. And as you can see, your figure has been dilated to A prime, B prime, C prime, and D prime. So the figure has been dilated into a larger size than its original because the scale factor was multiplied by the coordinates. And that's very important because that's like that's the way you make your figure bigger. What is a scale factor, you might ask? A scale factor is the number the figure would be growing by. So in this case, it's growing by 2. So how sc the scale factor would be k equals 2. k is the way scale factor is represented. And so if you like get confused, like in a note book or something, or a book, and it says k equals 2, k means a scale factor. So in this case, the scale factor is 2. Then, as we saw in the last slide, we got all of the coordinates and, and multiplied it by the scale factor. But instead of making it by, t by 2, we're going to be making it by 4. So... In this case, there's the same coordinates as last time, so we just have to multiply them by 4. So, A would be negative 8, 8, B would be 8, 8, C would be Eight, negative eight, and D would be negative eight, negative eight. So we would get the new coordinates and put them on the in our coordinate plane, and the figure, as you saw, as you can see. is getting larger for every coordinate we place. So these are the vertices which would be A prime, B prime, C prime, and D prime. Now if we fill it in, you can see it's much bigger than the than this square right here.
so this is dilating the figure by a different number. So it's real it's kind of simple. You just have to multiply the vertices by the scale factor. So in this case it was four. But in other cases it could be half or something like that, which is kinda simple also. So right now well so today I was just showing you how to make it by whole numbers and making it larger only. So yeah. For my standard math practice, I use a 10 to precision, which means I can review my calculations and strategies to see if they're correct. And I, I chose this one because with when you multiply the coordinates, they have to be exact coordinates. They can't like they can't be half coordinates or semi half. So you have to be precise of where the, of where you place them. And I also chose utilizing pattern because I could find the mathematical patterns to help me solve the problem. Which in this case I multiplied to help me find the new coordinates of my figure so I can dilate it to make it exact or precise.